Do you ever feel like time is slipping through your fingers? Like the past is gone, the future is uncertain, and all we have is this fleeting present moment. Well, what if that's not how time actually works? What if the past, present, and future all exist at once, like a movie reel where every moment is already laid out? That's the idea behind eternalism, also known as the block universe theory. It's a philosophical view of time that says all moments in time are equally real. And the present moment is just our subjective experience of moving through this block of time. It's like saying that everything that has ever happened, is happening, or will happen is all laid out in a giant map of time. This view challenges the way we usually think about time, where the past is gone, the future is uncertain, and all we have is this fleeting present moment. Eternalism says, hold on a minute, that's not how it works. It suggests that the past, present, and future are all just different points on this map of time, and they're all equally real. It's like watching a movie. The entire film exists on the DVD or Netflix or whatever you're watching, but you only experience it one frame at a time. In Eternalism, the universe is like the DVD, and our lives are like the frames all existing at once, but we only experience them one at a time. This view of time has some pretty wild implications. It means that your past self, the one who was eating cereal this morning, is just as real as your present self, the one watching this video right now. And your future self, the one who will be eating dinner tonight, is also just as real. It's like there are infinite versions of you all existing at different points in time and they're all equally valid and important. In classical philosophy, time is often divided into three distinct realms, the past, the present, and the future. The past is seen as fixed and unchanging, the future as uncertain and open to possibility, and the present as the fleeting moment that separates the two. This traditional view suggests that time flows like a river, with the present moment moving forward into the future, leaving the past behind. This is often called the moving spotlight view of time, where the spotlight of the present illuminates one moment at a time as it travels along the timeline. One version of this view, known as presentism, argues that only the present moment truly exists. The past and future are merely concepts, not actual realities. It's like saying that only the current frame of a movie exists, while the previous and upcoming frames are just imaginary. However, this traditional view of time faces some challenges, particularly when it comes to reconciling it with modern physics, especially Einstein's theory of relativity. Special relativity, one of the cornerstones of modern physics, tells us that there's no single universal now. Different observers moving at different speeds or in different gravitational fields will have different perceptions of simultaneity. It's like saying that two people watching the same movie at different speeds will see different frames at the same time. This relativity of simultaneity challenges the idea of a universal present moment, suggesting that the past, present, and future might all exist simultaneously, just from different perspectives. Many philosophers have argued that relativity actually supports the view of eternalism. Some philosophers have even argued that special relativity and presentism are incompatible meaning that if we accept the theory of relativity, we have to reject the idea that only the present moment exists. This question of whether time flows has been debated since antiquity, with philosophers and scientists offering various perspectives on this elusive concept. Some ancient philosophers, like those who believed in fatalism, argued that the future is already predetermined, fixed, and unchanging. In this view, time doesn't really flow, it's more like a static map where all events, past, present, and future are already laid out. Others, like the reductionists, question whether time can exist independently of the events that occur within it. They suggested that time might just be a way of describing the relationships between events, rather than a fundamental aspect of reality. And then there were the Platonists, who believed that time is absolute and exists independently of the events that occupy it. In this view, Time flows like a river, carrying events along with it, regardless of whether those events are observed or experienced. Even earlier, the pre-Socratic philosopher Parmenides of Elia proposed a radical idea. 
that existence is timeless and change is impossible. His disciple, Zeno of Elia, further explored this concept with his famous paradoxes about motion, which challenged the very notion of change and the passage of time. The debate about the flow of time continued throughout the Middle Ages, with philosophers and theologians offering their own perspectives on this concept. The philosopher Catherine A. Rogers argued that Anselm of Canterbury, a prominent 11th century theologian, held an eternalist view of time. This interpretation suggests that Anselm believed all moments in time are equally real, rejecting the idea of a privileged present moment. However, another philosopher, Brian Leftow, challenged this interpretation, suggesting that Anselm instead advocated for a type of presentism, where only the present moment truly exists. Rogers responded to this critique, defending her original interpretation of Anselm's view of time. Tonelli Kakonin, in the Oxford Handbook of Medieval Philosophy, argues that medieval philosophers like Augustine and Anselm didn't necessarily feel the need to choose between eternalism and presentism, suggesting that they were more comfortable with a nuanced and perhaps even contradictory understanding of time. Augustine of Hippo, a prominent 4th century theologian, wrote that God exists outside of time, suggesting that time is a creation of the universe and doesn't apply to the divine. Thomas Aquinas, a 13th century theologian, echoed this view, which has been influential in Christian theology. This perspective suggests that while time might appear to flow for us humans, bound by the limitations of our physical existence, God might perceive the universe as a timeless whole, a block where all moments exist simultaneously. The debate about the nature of time continued into the modern period, with philosophers and scientists grappling with the implications of new discoveries and theories. One of the most famous arguments about time in modern philosophy comes from J.M.E. McTaggart, a philosopher who argued that time is an illusion. He claimed that the way we describe events as happening in the past, present, or future leads to contradictions, suggesting that time itself might not be a fundamental aspect of reality. McTaggart's ideas, known as the B-theory of time, have been influential in philosophical discussions about time and its relationship to consciousness and experiences. Another interesting perspective comes from Zen Buddhist tradition. Dirk Vorenkamp, a professor of religious studies, argued that the Zen Buddhist teacher Dogen presented views of time that were similar to McTaggart's B-theory. This suggests that the concept of a timeless or eternal reality has been explored in both Western and Eastern philosophical traditions. Eternalism, with its view of time as a dimension where all moments exist simultaneously, also connects to the concept of world lines. These are paths that objects trace through space-time, representing their entire history from beginning to end. In internalism, these world lines exist all at once, and our experience of time is simply our perception of moving along our own individual world line. The concept of eternalism has also sparked discussions in the realm of quantum physics, particularly in the context of quantum gravity. Quantum gravity is a theoretical framework that attempts to unify quantum mechanics, which describes the behavior of particles at the subatomic level, with general relativity, which describes gravity and the large-scale structure of the universe. It's a quest to find a theory that can explain the universe at its most fundamental level, where the fabric of space and time itself is subject to quantum fluctuations. Some philosophers and physicists have suggested that certain theories of quantum gravity might imply a timeless reality where the past, present, and future all exist at once. Julian Barbauer, a physicist and philosopher, has proposed a theory of timelessness based on quantum gravity, suggesting that our experience of time is an illusion, a consequence of our limited perspective within a timeless universe. On the other hand, physicist George Ellis argues that the absence of time in some cosmological theories is due to the simplifications and omissions they make, rather than a reflection of a truly timeless reality. He suggests that a complete theory of quantum gravity would need to incorporate time as a fundamental aspect. Recently, physicist Nikolic has proposed that a block time model, where all moments in time exist simultaneously, could help resolve the black hole information paradox. This paradox arises from the conflict between quantum mechanics and general relativity regarding the fate of information that falls into a black hole. Nikolic suggests that in a block time model, the information is not lost, but rather preserved in the timeless structure of the universe. Now, here's where science comes in to give eternalism a boost. 
Einstein's theory of relativity, one of the cornerstones of modern physics, tells us that time and space aren't separate entities, but are intertwined into this thing called space-time. This idea throws a wrench into the traditional notion of an absolute present moment, that now that we all experience. According to relativity, what one person perceives as the present might be different for someone else, depending on their relative motion and position in the universe. If all moments in time are equally real and the future is already set, what does that mean for our free will? Can we really make choices if everything is predetermined? Critics of eternalism often argue that it leads to a deterministic view of the universe, where everything that will happen has already happened and there's no room for free will or choice. But some philosophers try to reconcile eternalism with the idea of free will. They suggest that while the future might be fixed, our choices are still part of that fixed timeline. It's like saying that your choices are already written into the script of your life, but you still have to make those choices in order for the script to unfold. This view suggests that free will and determinism might not be mutually exclusive. Perhaps we have the freedom to choose, but those choices are already embedded in the fabric of space-time, contributing to the overall experience of existence. Not everyone's on board with the idea of eternalism. Some philosophers and physicists like John Lucas and Karl Popper have raised objections, arguing that it doesn't quite fit with our everyday experiences or with certain aspects of physics. They point out that eternalism doesn't capture the way we feel time passing, the specialness of the present moment, or the difference between the past and the future. It also doesn't seem to fit with our common sense understanding of time, where the future is open and not yet determined. Some have tried to reconcile eternalism with the idea of a flowing time, suggesting that even if all moments exist at once, there's still a subjective experience of time passing. But others argue that this doesn't fully address the concerns raised by critics of eternalism. Lee Smolin, a theoretical physicist, takes a different stance. He argues that time is a fundamental aspect of reality, not just an illusion. He proposes that the laws of physics themselves might evolve over time, suggesting a more dynamic and less deterministic view of the universe. Avshalom Elitzer, another physicist, also rejects the block universe model. He argues that the future doesn't exist in the same way as the present and that quantum mechanics provides evidence for an objective passage of time. But eternalism also has its supporters, who argue that it provides a solid framework for understanding time and it fits well with modern physics, particularly Einstein's theory of relativity. They also point out that eternalism can help resolve some of the paradoxes that arise when we think about time travel, such as the grandfather paradox, where you go back in time and kill your own grandfather. So, is eternalism the real deal? Does the future already exist, just waiting for us to stumble upon it? Or is the present moment all we have, a fleeting glimpse of reality in a constantly changing universe? Thank you everyone for watching. My name's The Big Why. Don't forget to drop a like, and if you're new to the Why Not family, a follow. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.